so real quick before you did that did Um, mm -hmm. And your your origin story, like how did you get into? Is that he? Uh, he made an age joke the last time we were. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna use that kuka. And so when you understand those steps in the wholesale deal, Randy. Um, you realize that's really, really simple, but then yep. you realize, man, this is actually the hardest simple thing I will probably ever do in my life because I'll beat my head up against the wall trying to find deals. And that's, that's the secret sauce when you're launching. And so number one, you need knowledge. Number two is you need a network. You need the support system around you. Um, you need mentors, you need yes. other cash buyers, you need realtors, you need title companies, you need attorneys. Um, you need certain contractors, you need um, people who can inspect the property for you. You need a lot of these different people and these different people fall into your network, okay? Yep. Um, and the stronger your network, the better you're gonna do, right? Your network <clears throat> might uh, include uh, property providers like realtors or people, other wholesalers that you might JV with to help them find and connect them to a buyer. All of these people are part of your network and the strength yep. of your network um, think of it as like one of the core pillars to the business that the the higher quality that you have, the more money you make. If you know the right person who can get a deal done at a $10,000 higher price point than what you can do, well, you can make an additional $10,000 by having the right guy in your network um, and, and really partner. And that's actually another one of the huge benefits of connecting with someone who's been in the business five, six, seven years and learning from them mm -hmm. is they have those connections, right? And yep. so if you doing a deal, like my first deal, Randy, uh, I made three grand. If I would have had that deal today, it would have been a $35,000 deal, wow. right? But it was because I was holding to the formula of just 70 cents minus repair. And yep. then my repair budget was extra high. And then the buyer knew that I was new. So he just hit me right at that number. Yep. And later found out he could have paid a whole lot more. Right? Yeah. And so by partnering with somebody and or, you know, paying after you do your first deal or when you're going, if you have the money, paying a little bit for mentorship, you will make that money back and more because of the strength of your network. And then number three is you have to be able to have leads coming in. You have to be looking at distressed properties. And uh, if you're not, if you don't have leads, you don't have a business. A lot of people, pay, yes. you know, people go through rich dad, poor dad, they go through Trigant learning and they go through all this stuff. And that learning can cost a hundred to $150,000 to get real estate and financial education. People yep. go through that and they get the first two things. They get knowledge and they get the network of people around them. Mm -hmm. but they never, ever, ever have leads coming in that they're looking at. And so the third thing that you need in order to win uh, is leads when you're coming in. So as you're launching your business, know what you're doing, know the direction and have the knowledge to complete the transaction. Two, yep. start building a network around you. And three, have an income source of leads that come into your business. And we can talk a little bit more about those leads to launch your business uh, wow. next. Most definitely. Really quick though, anybody who's watching out there, if you're watching on YouTube, you're watching on the Facebook group, post your questions in the comments. We want to hear them. We'll answer them as we go along. Uh, we'll post them up on the screen. We'll answer them as we go. Don't be shy. Put them in there um, and we'll answer them. You know, we'll try to fit them in what we're talking about. So by all means, I at least want to let everybody know, you know, this is an open discussion as much as possible. I, you know, we're only going to be here an hour today. We normally a little bit go a little bit longer, but we're going to try to keep it to an hour. So, um, but with all that being said, I completely agree with you because I've actually gone through that with my business where the networking, I've networked so much with different people. And that's how, networking is how I met you, honestly. Yeah. I, and I, I, that's how I met a lot of my buyers and I'm seeing where they're buying, what they're, what they're buying at. And, you know, that's where I can actually 
um, JV with other people and say, hey, no, you got this locked up too high. This needs to be here. You're not going to be able to sell it right now. Um, you know, and if you want to JV with me, by all means, my number's right here below. I, you know, and you can actually uh, contact me. We'll JV on any deal that you have in the Tri-County area for Metro Detroit. Uh, now, with that being said, I'm going through that. If you don't, if I don't have leads coming in, I don't have, that's it. Like if I'm just relying on JV deals and I don't have many JV deals coming in, my business has gone down. Yes. So I've ramped up my cold calling. What, I got to create leads somehow, yep. you know? So things like that. We'll, we'll, we'll let, let you get back to what we were talking about. No, here. absolutely. So basically what that looks like when you dive into getting leads is I recommend that everybody outline three lead sources for themselves yeah. and think of it as three funnels. You know, we, we get caught up in this idea that funnels are web pages, right? From ClickFunnels. Yep. Um, but funnels are actually just the path in which you're going to find a customer, in our case, a seller. Um, and so if you think of it in terms of every strategy works, okay? Mm -hmm. um, some strategies cost more money, like TV ads, they cost more money, right? You gotta yeah. spend like eight grand or 10 grand just to get started with TV ads. Um, direct mail costs a little bit of money, that's how I got started, right? You gotta spend seven, eight, two thousand dollars a a week a month sometimes right and that's oh, yeah. um, cold calling you can pay skip tracing and you can call those people over and over again um texting is even cheaper um but think of it this way and it's it's almost always the case is the cheaper the lead source or the cheaper the cost uh the lower quality lead now that's not the case with lists but it is the case with channels um and so you have both outbound and inbound marketing channels. And the cheaper way to do it is to have some outbound marketing channels where you're doing the cold calling, where you're doing the texting, where yeah. you're driving to that person's house and knocking on the door, right? Those are all outbound channels in order to find a deal. And the cool thing with outbound channels is they're uh, very hard to do. And yep. it takes someone that has grit and has courage and it's, you can learn for low cost and you can really play the game on hard mode. And even though, again, it's on hard mode, so you're gonna die a lot or you're gonna fail a lot, right? But um, there's very little financial cost to you. And that low financial cost allows you to get the reps in if you can survive the gauntlet that you're going to go through. Um, now, when you switch over to incoming leads, your quality of lead goes up drastically. Um, and you have people who actually want to talk to you. That's, that's the difference is people are coming to you saying, I would like to sell my house yeah. versus you calling someone saying, would you like to sell your house? And, yeah. and I don't know the difference there, it's pretty drastic. Um, and so that's, that's how you kind of want to distinguish. And so I like saying, hey, pick three channels. Right? What is that going to be? Is that going to be uh, JVing with other wholesalers? Is that going to be cold calling? And is that going to be texting? Right? Yep. Is that going to be JVing with other with realtors, JVing with wholesalers, and direct mail? Is that going to be pay per click, um, Bing, and direct mail? Right? Whatever mm -hmm. that's going to be, find three of them that you can focus on because in the realm of marketing, um, you do want an element where you're omnipresent, where you're 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 uh, your reach is greater, it seems greater than um, you might actually be. It's right. Big, and you're casting this wide net. Mm -hmm. um, and you want that. And so picking three, but if you go more than that, then you really bog yourself down and you can't really build that out. And when you pick three, then you want to narrow it down to one, build the one out, and then build the second one out, and then build the third one out and see how it develops over time. You begin to have that roadmap because milestone number one is to do your first deal. Milestone number two is to put six figures or a year's worth of income in the bank. Once you have a year's worth of income in the bank from your normal job, now you have options and you get to that top of that first mountaintop and you get to decide what you want to do next. Do you want to quit your job? Yeah. Do you want to start <clears throat> the flipping? Do you want to do buy and hold? What is that next thing? You now are at that mountain peak where you can choose the direction you want to go, but you want to choose those three funnels first 
and you want to decide, okay, which one am I going to go into to get that first deal? 100%. No, I, I completely agree with that. Um, I chose cold calling myself. So because nice. that is that is what I, I, I started off with. I actually, I started off with mailing and okay. I started off with mailers. It, it was really expensive and I wasn't getting much out of it. It wasn't as quick. Okay. And what I found out about mailers is you got to continuously mail to yes. them in order for it to keep working. And yes. so I switched it up to cold calling because it's a quicker response. It's a quicker, you know, either yes or no, yep. you know, so, or follow-ups. So well, things like and, that. And, and I want you to think about this, right? So yeah. when you think about the money that you need to quit your job, right? Yeah. Which we talked about. Yep. Um, Cause a lot of times when we do a deal, it feels like that deal disappears. And then now we got to do another deal, right? And it feels like yeah. this never ending cycle with yes. no actual goal. Um, but when you play like video games, they have all these mechanisms built in to make uh -huh. you feel like you're succeeding along the way, right? They have yep. experience points, they're unlocking things. There's all kinds of cool stuff, right? That's why guys get involved in them is they have adventure, they're making progress and they're unlocking cool stuff along the way, right? They're gamifying a heck of a video game, oh, uh, yeah. your entire experience. And so you want to do that with pulsing as well. And one of the ways to do that is take your entire money you need in order to quit your job. Okay. So let's just say it's $75,000. Okay. Yep. I need 75 grand to quit my job. Then what you're going to do is you're going to divide that number 75 by an average deal size. So okay. let's say your average deal is eight grand. Okay. Yep. We'll just go with a lower number. Your average deal is eight grand. That means you need 9.3 deals in order to quit your job. Okay. Well, now if you know that, it's like, okay, I need to do nine deals this year. Yeah. That's what that's what that looks like in order to put that money in the bank. And so if you can think that way, that will allow you to be able to move forward in your career and know, dude, this is what it looks like for me to get freedom. And you quantify that freedom number and then you back into it and you say, okay, well, if I need nine deals to quit my job, and that's an average, right? Imagine if you do yeah. a $5,000 deal. I just talked to a wholesaler today. Uh, we were talking and his first deal, he did like 27,000, right? Over here. Holy and crap. So, and he's only, I think he's only done one. He might've just done a second deal. Okay. Um, but he's like, yeah, my goal is to make 50 grand by June and I'm doing X, Y, Z. I was like, cool. What about by the end of the year? He's like, I'm trying to figure out how to, to make this consistent to do 250. And I was like, that's exactly what you're looking at. Like, what do you think in the average deal size? He's like, well, this one I did 27. It's like, well, let's pull that back a little bit. It's not going to be yeah. your normal. Let's pull that back to like 15. He's like, okay, I like that. Um, and that's what you want to do. You want to figure out what that average is, well, how much yeah. you need, divide it and figure out your deals. Now you have your next 12 month plan. Right. Right. I need to do nine deals in 12 months. Okay. If yeah. I do this, now what does that daily activity look like to do a deal a month? Yep. Once you can figure that out, which I'll give you a hint, you want to generate about 40 leads, 40 to 50 leads per deal. Mm -hmm. and if you can generate those leads to be able to do those deals, well now figure out what that takes and now you know the activity you need in order to do the deal. So to come back to the original point, how do we make $17,000 in the next 42 days? Right. Um, this is this is what it looks like. Generate okay. 50 leads in the next two weeks. And mm -hmm. you generate 50 leads by doing a couple of things. One, you can drive for dollars, drive around and get 200 driving for dollars leads. Okay, 200 yep. driving for dollars leads. Then I want you to skip trace and I want you to call every phone number off of every one of those leads. And I want you to send a handwritten direct mail piece to all of them, okay? Then next week, I want you to send a second direct mail piece to all of them and call all of them <clears throat> again. Yep. On top of that, reach out to your local city, ask them for either a water shutoff list or a code violation list and do the same thing with 
them, okay? Whichever area you're focused on and start hitting that list over and over and over again. And if you wanna do another additional thing, drive out to those lists, those properties of those lists, knock on the door or knock on the neighbor's door and ask them if they know anything about the house. And now what you're doing is you're starting to talk to more people. And by talking to those people, you're essentially speaking out into the world, saying what you want, and eventually that will come back. Once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room